Now on Coast TV News. The Rehoboth Beach's current location, why a deed change is needed for a project to move forward. New playground equipment at the Milton Memorial Park, how the new equipment meets the special needs of families in town. Food being prepared at this production kitchen in Georgetown, how it's helping aspiring chefs. Crazy high and low temps are still in the forecast, and guess what? We'll be frosty by the weekend. This is Coast TV News at 5. The Rehoboth Beach Library currently modifying a deed with the city. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with an update on the Rehoboth Beach Library project. The Rehoboth Beach Library is still working on the project to split up its services between the current downtown location and future location on Route 24. On Monday, the Board of Commissioners were presented with the library's request to modify a deed so that the second half of the library that could be leased out. The deed change is needed so that the library can move forward with the project. Joining us there is Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber live in Rehoboth Beach. Elisa, the library says it hopes the two locations will allow more people to use its services. Maddie and Charlie, the Rehoboth Beach Library says that many complained that parking and traffic, especially in the summertime, has given people trouble accessing the current downtown location. Now, in order for the change to happen, a deed must be modified with the city of Rehoboth Beach. Susan Ondish frequently visits the Rehoboth Beach Library. She is sad to see the library splitting up its locations between downtown Rehoboth and Route 24. It's, I'm really going to miss that. It's the most of the books will be out there, but I feel it's fine in the winter to come here and they always are, have the books when I need them. They get them right in and I do like this location. A few months ago, the Rehoboth Beach Library announced it was going to expand its locations to Route 24 near Warrington Road and downsize the Rehoboth Beach location in the downtown area. According to the Rehoboth Beach Library, the second half of the library, located next to Summer House, will hopefully be leased to an educational institution. Kay Wheatley, who is a member of the Rehoboth Beach Library Task Force, explained the next step is to get approval from the city to have the library deed modified. We, because we want to retain this part for library services, we just need to flip-flop the lot numbers <laughs> from 74 to 72 um, so that we're still in compliance with the agreement. Wheatley says both locations will have similar amenities like a reading area, DVDs, and book genres. Some people told Coast TV they do not mind the library splitting up its location. Just as long as it's here and the internet, place to browse and to read and to read some magazines, very easy. The Rehoboth Beach Library says it hopes this location and this one will make library services more accessible to everyone. The Rehoboth Beach Library says that that deed is currently being rewritten by an attorney and will be represented to the city in December. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Elise Weber, Coast TV News. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, do you go to your local Coast Library? Let's take a look at the results. Taking a look at your screen, so far 54% say no, but 46% say yes, they do. Well, I'm a big library fan, so I personally am always in the yes category there. Great opportunity to go vote on this. You can do it at CoastTVNews.com or our Coast TV mobile app. An all-inclusive playground for kids of all ages and abilities, now part of Milton Memorial Park, that after about a year of fundraising and labor. The Women's Club of Milton and now the town of Milton have completed installation of the two new pieces of adaptive play equipment. The purchase was inspired by a pressing need. There have been children in town that had to travel all the way to Milford for such equipment and we said it's a shame we don't have it here in our town and that's how we chose our project for the town. John Collier, the mayor of Milton, added that the entire project was a labor of love. Even today, children were making good use of that new playground equipment. Abortion access taking center stage in elections across the country today, especially Ohio, where voters could enshrine abortion rights in the state's constitution. That's one of the bellwether contests that could tell us a lot about the presidential race coming up in 2024. NBC's Alice Barr reports on how Republican presidential hopefuls are preparing to square off in their next debate. That is tomorrow night in Miami. 
as Republican presidential candidates prepare to take the stage for their next debate tomorrow in Miami, voters across the country head to the polls today on key issues with national implications for 2024. In Ohio, a ballot measure that would enshrine abortion rights in the state's constitution, driving passionate response. How dare they try to take away the freedom of more than half of the state of Ohio. Uh, this is not a, a thing that the government should be involved in. Is the question of reproductive rights something that's going to be a motivating factor for you in the next elections? Yes, yes, I, I think life is sacred. And so, man, whoever, like, whoever stands up for those who, who can't stand up for themselves, that's gonna be a big factor in who I choose to vote for. Potential bellwethers in Kentucky. Are you ready to win this election? where Democratic Governor Andy Bashir tries to hold on to his job in a bright red state, and in Virginia, where Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin is hoping for a full GOP legislature. Voters are going to come out today and they're going to help us hold our house and flip our Senate. Wednesday night's Republican debate features a slim down field of five presidential hopefuls. An opportunity for hopefully a more productive debate. Home field advantage for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, fresh off a key endorsement from Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. Reynolds, who said this about the frontrunner, former President Trump. I believe he can't win. Mr. Trump again choosing to skip the debate after taking the stand in his civil financial fraud trial. In Miami, Alice Barr, NBC News. NBC also spoke to voters today about new polling that shows President Biden trailing former President Trump in key battleground states. Democrats are worried, but don't want to see President Biden step aside without a clear alternative who stands a better chance. As we take a live look right now into Ocean City from the Dry Tech Embers camera, their absolutely beautiful sunset there on the bay. Let's check in with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams, on our first alert weather. Good evening, Paul. Good evening to you, Maddie. And overall, we're enjoying pretty much a relatively mild situation at this present time. The temperatures are expected to go crazy up and down for the next few days in a row. And we'll get into all of that coming up in a moment. But as of right now, we're holding it like 71, very mild, warm spring like degrees with the winds pushing out of the south uh, for us. Now, when the winds are coming out of the south, everything's all, you know, roses and sunshine and candy and, you know, unicorns. However, by the time the winds are pushed out of the north, it's going to be, you know, it's going to have a whole different theme music to it by then. But as far as tonight is concerned, even though we're not necessarily expecting additional cloud cover, but we're so warm that we're going to stay warm, especially with the winds out of the south. That kind of helps us out. So we're going to go from 65 down to 63 by 7 o'clock, down to 60 degrees at 9 o'clock. Now, those dramatic ups and downs, that's what we're going to get into with your full forecast. Until then, back to you, Maddie. Paul, thank you. Happening now, applications being accepted for the lead Delaware program. Lead Delaware is a two-year program for leaders in agriculture, natural resources, and sustainability. The program offers learning opportunities including seminars and expert panels that will allow participants to develop leadership skills within the food, fiber, and natural resources industries. The application is due Friday, November 17th and can be found on UD's website. Happening this Thursday in Georgetown, the Delaware Center for the Inland Bays will hold a free event to learn more about supporting healthy soils and habitats in the Inland Bays. A lecture will be held on November 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Georgetown Public Library. The event will provide an introduction to soils and the benefits of soil health. Happening next week, the Georgetown Planning Commission will hold a meeting for a preliminary site plan review and approval to build a Popeye's fast food restaurant. The proposed location is Route 113. Developers are looking to construct a 2,600 square foot Popeye's that site plan review will be held Wednesday, November 15th at Georgetown Town Hall at 6 p.m. A new program called the Kitchen Incubator in Georgetown is hoping to help new cooks get their start in a much more affordable way. The program is already helping lunch culinary, launch culinary careers. A little faux pas there, lunch, launch. <laughs> Everything from food trucks to catering. Sussex County Economic Development funded this professional grade kitchen. It allows several cooks to pay to work out of it, operating multiple businesses at one location. Maria Bolden started utilizing the kitchen incubator to get her business, Jam Session Jams, up and running after retiring from DuPont. She says help offered by the kitchen manager in selling her products allowed her to grow. Selling to a business is one thing. Selling to consumers, especially with food, is so different. I didn't know, as, as professional as I like to think I am, I had no clue. 
The kitchen manager says there could be plans to expand on the kitchen incubator for the future, but for now, there are memberships still available. Deer hunting in Maryland, how teens can get involved in this activity this hunting season. Now, it wasn't a record high for today, but it was warm enough to make tomorrow feel uncomfortable. 75, way above 62. But will the temps take a nosedive? Oh, you won't believe what I'm about to show you. But first, Palestinians leaving Gaza City, how Israel and Hamas are divided on how to move forward. That's up next. We bought the house about seven years ago. Um, we recognized that the roof was starting to look worn. We decided to call Spicer Brothers to come give us an estimate and tell us what they could do. The sales guy was great. We felt very comfortable and we made the decision. They started prepping the site and they started ripping the roof off. It was like a well-oiled machine. And we have our beautiful roof that's no worries now. It does look really good. I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy. Before you sign, keep Spicer Brothers in mind. At Tidal Health, we're with you at every step. When you need hip or knee replacement surgery, choose the area's most experienced orthopedic robotic surgeon. Choose Dr. William Duran. His robotic surgery techniques lead to less pain and quicker recovery, meaning you'll be back on your feet doing what you love in no time. At Tidal Health, we know the value of having high-quality, world-class care right in your backyard, so we invest in it. Visit TidalHealth.org experience to learn more. At Precision Exteriors, we use quality materials with excellent craftsmanship and unparalleled customer service. We do roofing, siding, gutters, and windows, and we offer financing, no interest, and no payments for 18 months. See all of our five-star reviews. Treated us fairly on price, did quality work, and, uh, you know, I would get them to do stuff again. We even recommend them to our parents. They were very happy as well. Measure twice, cut once, and always do it with Precision. Precision Exteriors. Has your gas fireplace had its yearly safety check yet this year? It is so important to check pressure, valves, and regulators at least once a year. Pemberton Appliance holds a master license in propane and natural gas, so you can be confident the job will be done right. Our 42-point safety check service will provide you peace of mind throughout the winter season. Call today and book your service for your gas fireplace and know your system is safe and ready for the cold season. Pemberton Appliance, celebrating 20 years in business. This is Coast TV News at 5. Today overseas, the Israeli army informed Palestinian residents in Gaza it's allowing passage to the south on a main Gaza road for four hours. And it posted this video. It says it was shot earlier in the day showing Palestinians leaving. Both Israel and Hamas have rebuffed mounting calls for a stop in fighting. Israel says hostages should be released first. Hamas says it will not free them nor stop fighting while Gaza is under attack. Some bank customers still haven't received their direct deposit paychecks after a human error in America banking systems last week. The deposit delays are linked to a problem that emerged Friday with the automated clearinghouse payment system causing headaches for consumers, for employers. The clearinghouse, the private operator of ACH, said Monday it's working with the banks and the Federal Reserve to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. New today, United Airlines is bracing for a record-breaking Thanksgiving travel period. The airline says it will carry more passengers this Thanksgiving holiday than ever before. United's forecast calls for 5.9 million passengers flying on its planes, and it predicts the travel period to be longer than ever this year, too, spread over 11 days. In regional news, there was a two-car crash in Harrington on Monday, November 6th, that left one driver in critical condition. According to Kent County Department of Public Safety, responders were dispatched to the 2000 block of Hammondtown Road with a report of both drivers trapped. As you can see on the screen here, cars ended up off the road and clearly with significant damage. Well, we have a spring-like day that will be followed by a winter feeling in the morning time, and that's just the start of the ups and downs of the temps. Before you celebrate your new home, protect your surfaces with HydroShield. HydroShield prevents unwanted stains from penetrating the surfaces in your home. Our eco-friendly formulas eliminate the need for toxic chemicals, protecting you and your family. You paid good money for your surfaces. Protect them with HydroShield. Call today for your free total home protection estimate. And relax, we have you covered. Learn more about our total home protection at hydroshielddelmarva.com. 
Do you sell Mohawk carpet here? We do. Come take a look. We have a large selection of Mohawk carpets. The exceptionally durable and silky smooth Smart Strand line from Mohawk provides you with years of comfort. So soft. Let's take it. This is our house. I definitely can do this for $5. Matt the Carpet Guy, your local Mohawk dealer in Selbyville and Lewis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Bryce Bryan with East Coast Plumbing, Heating, and Air. We'd like to take a minute to thank you, Delmarva. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For 10 years of business, whether it's plumbing, heating, air conditioning, or kitchen and bathroom remodeling, we have proudly served over 50,000 homes in the area, making us Delmarva's top service provider. So from all of us at East Coast Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Delmarva. Pick up the phone and call East Coast Plumbing. The Dots, classic hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. The Duck on 107.1, 105.1, and 104.3. The station where you know the words to every song. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. 16 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Late Night with Seth Myers. Late Nights on Coast TV. Although we are expecting clear skies and a good deal of sunshine, the forecast is interesting to say the least. By the way, while I'm thinking about it, be sure you scan the QR code right there in the corner of your screen because it's going to help you to track these crazy ups and downs that's actually slated for us over the next four to five days in a row. And you'll need that just to know how, what to wear from day to day. All right, here we go. Courtesy of our tunnel and razor camera. Right now, we're holding at a very mild spring-like 69 degrees, and we're going to stay in the 60s for the rest of this evening with clear skies. Now, all this has helped along when the winds are pushing out to the south. Oh, it's a beautiful, glorious thing. Today, we had a chance to warm to 75 degrees. Now, that's not a record high. The record high is in the low 80s, but still, that's so warm that tomorrow is going to feel dramatically different, okay? We're like 11 degrees warmer in Georgetown where we were just 24 hours ago, and we're nine degrees warmer now than what we were. So we're in the 70s and 60s right now just about everywhere thanks to a good deal of clear skies and with the winds out of the south. Once again, that's helpful. We do have a little small concern for winds along the Chesapeake Bay area, but even the, the uh, small craft advisories off of the coast, those have been allowed to expire. We have a steady flow primarily pushing out of the west. We keep a close eye on this trough and more importantly, this cold front that's to our north because this cold front, all right, that one right there, that's the real deal right there, that cold front. When it begins to push through, it's going to drop us like crazy. But for the lows tonight, we're going to drop to like 41 in Georgetown, Millsboro, and Laurel, for example. And we'll dip to the 40s, 41 in Federalsburg, 43 in Vienna. And we will dip to about 43 in Berlin and Snow Hill overnight with light winds. What do you need to wear? Well, to be honest, you're going to need to at least wear a sweater, okay? because this is going to be long sleeve weather. For our runners cast, we'll start off in the 40s. Notice the winds are out of the north. Now we have all kinds of sunshine, but notice how we don't move much after we hit 51. 52, that's a maybe. And we stay at 52 throughout the mid morning hours. Oh, this is a hint as to what's to come. So Wednesday, look at the winds pouring out of the north into the 40s. And then by the afternoon, mid 50s, that's about as good as it gets. Then for Thursday, right? The winds are out of the south and it just changes everything around. 55 in the morning, well into the 70s, up mid to upper 70s in the afternoon. And that's what we're expecting for Thursday. By the way, at 6 o'clock Thursday from 5 to 6, we could see a little quick developing sprinkle or two. So here's our look. Starry night and cooling off for tonight. Then for tomorrow, deceptive sunshine with very chilly winds out of the north, 59, feeling more like 49, so dress with long sleeves. And then Thursday, go back and get your summer gear, okay? Because that's when it's going to almost feel hot. Finally, here's a look at the extended forecast. There's going to be rain on Friday.
for sure. But then after Friday, the cold front pushes through that real deal for cold front I told you about. Look at these temps, 39, 36, 33, 33, 37. Get a little cooler there, Paul. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources is encouraging teens to take part in the junior deer hunt on the junior deer hunt day that begins on Saturday, November 11th, when it's going to be 33 in the morning. This day introduces young people to the sport and also allows young hunters and mentors to bond and share the experience of deer hunting. Adults may serve as mentors only and not possess hunting devices while accompanying their junior hunter. And head on over to your closest national park Saturday, but bundle up. The National Park Service waiving all entrance fees for Veterans Day. You still have to pay for services, though, like camping, boat launches, or special tours. This is the last chance for free admission this year. But first, marijuana use by older adults. There are some heart-related risks that were recently discovered by researchers. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. From gentle ocean breezes to small country towns, Sussex County has it all. That's why you need a real estate company that is familiar with it all. Man & Sons offers decades of experience throughout Sussex County. Whether it's helping you purchase your forever home or find the perfect vacation rental at the beach. Trust our experience. Trust Man & Sons. For over 30 years, the difference is clear. Man & Sons. This weather is brought to you by Man and Sons Real Estate. Life isn't always easy. Sometimes we need a little bit of help to work through life's more challenging problems. At Addiction Medical Facility, we are here for you, believing in your strengths to overcome any obstacle. Whether it's addiction to substance use disorders or mental health issues, there's hope for a better tomorrow. Together, we can tackle what is holding you back. Our medication assisted treatment improved medication with counseling, offering a holistic approach tailored to your needs. Addiction Medical Facility, together we find hope and healing. The new Upscale OC Chopsticks Asian Bistro is the place to go for fresh, hand-selected ingredients used to create the most delicious Asian delicacies. Come dine in, have a drink, and let our skilled chefs prepare your authentic Thai, Chinese, and Japanese dishes. At OC Chopsticks, we take what was good and make it better. Sushi rolls, noodle soups, General Tso's chicken, you see where we're going. Anything made fresh is better. Serving lunch and dinner daily, located at the Ocean City Outlets. OC Chopsticks Asian Bistro, we stay fresh. Get covered from the rain with a free Coast TV umbrella. Simply enter at CoastTVUmbrella.com for a chance to win. Then catch Coast TV News weekdays to see if you've won. Brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. We're a little short-staffed. No problem. I brought my crew. Well, why not? Let's get started. Everybody needs a hot tub. Yeah! Who doesn't need a pool toy? Hey, put them back. So what you got here? It's a Finley O sauna for all your aches and pains. Yeah! So come see us at our new showroom, Pools and Spas Unlimited in Milford. Why not? Sponsored by Ancient Art Stone, where countertops are always a work of art. Marijuana use by older adults is on the rise, and experts are worried that they may not be aware of the cardiovascular risks. That's according to new research presented by the American Heart Association Scientific Census in sessions rather in Philadelphia. Adults over the age of 65 who don't smoke tobacco but do use marijuana were at higher risk of both heart attack and stroke. Researchers found those who abused marijuana had a 20% higher risk of having a major heart or brain event while hospitalized compared to older patients who did not use it. Happening next week, a flu vaccine clinic in Rehoboth Beach. On Tuesday, November 14th, BB Healthcare will hold a clinic from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for adults ages 18 to 64 at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Also happening on the 14th with BB Healthcare, a free CPR class will be held for the public in Lewis on Tuesday, November 14th. The public is welcome to attend a CPR class at the BB Healthcare School of Nursing. The class begins at 6 p.m. and is expected to last three hours. Participants will get hands-on practice with medical mannequins. Registration is required for that class. In traffic, MDOT announced its paving project will start Thursday, November 9th 
That's on Route 366 in Worcester County. MDOT says crews will work weekdays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and drivers can expect single lane closures throughout the duration of the project. It's time to take another look at our Coast TV poll. Do you go to your local Coast Library? So far it is leaning yes, 59% to 41%. These tend to change throughout the day though, so if you haven't voted yet, you can still go do that at CoastTVNews.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. We're going to show you updated results on Coast TV News at 6. Coming up, National Elementary Honor Society students from the Indian River School District, the opportunity they had with the Selbyville Town Council. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Find the perfect puppy for Christmas this year at Puppies R Us in Bridgeville. Puppies R Us has the largest selection of lovable puppies on the shore. Visit our website or like us on Facebook. From purebreds to highbreds, our pups are vet checked, vaccinated, and microchipped. So you can be sure your new furry family member will be happy and healthy. Don't miss holiday double discounts. Get $200 off a puppy purchase, a free bag of Canada dog food, and 20% off accessories for a month. We finance too. Puppies R Us, Route 13, Bridgeville, Delaware. Gateway Subaru is committed to providing the best car buying experience on the shore. And now it's a great time to own a new Subaru. Our team of friendly, knowledgeable professionals are here to assist you every step of the way. And with an amazing inventory of the latest Subaru models, we'll help you find the Subaru that suits your lifestyle and fits your budget. And right now, take advantage of financing rates as low as 0% on select models. Lowe's, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Windsor Teak of Fenwick Island offers over 100 different teak tables, over 24 different extension tables featuring self-storing leaves. They come in two different heights, dining and counter, plus two different widths and two different shapes, oval and rectangular. Extension tables start at 66 inches long and go up to 138 inches long and can seat from 6 to 16 people, plus over 36 different folding tables. Our drop leaf folding tables can be used with one or two leaves up. When both leaves are folded down, you can store the tables into seven inches of space. The drop leaf tables come in three different heights, dining, counter, and bar, and come in four different shapes, oval, round, rectangular, and square. Don't forget to check out the non-folding tables, coffee and side tables, and buffet tables. Drop by our showroom and smell the teak, or visit our website at windsorteakfurniture.com, and remember, Teak lasts a lifetime. This Thanksgiving, our Delaware Electric Cooperative family has so much to be grateful for. We're thankful for our employee family whose hard work is breaking reliability records. We're grateful to operate under a not-for-profit business model that puts people above profits. Our team is thankful for our members who have once again named us one of the top electric providers in America. And most of all, we're thankful to be able to power thousands of incredible people and places across the first state. From our co-op family to yours. Happy Thanksgiving! Coming up new on Coast TV News at 6, Plantation Road Closure. It begins its six-month disruption. How it's going to affect you and what alternative routes are available. On Monday, November 6th, members of the Philip C. Shaw Elementary School chapter of the National Elementary Honor Society had the opportunity to stand before Selbyville Town Council and community at the Town Council meeting. The organization spoke about service projects they're planning this year, including a year-long partnership with the Center for the Inland Bays, where students will be analyzing and reporting water samples from local waterways. That's in an effort to make an impact on our community. Congratulations. And you know what else is going to make an impact on our community? These crazy temperatures. Take a look at your exclusive Coast TV 10-day forecast. We're going to be a bit cooler for Wednesday with a high of only 7, 59 degrees. And that's if we're lucky to get up to 59. 55 is pretty much the range for everybody. Then we'll go all the way up to, you know, approaching 80 for Thursday. Then we'll drop to 53 with rain on Friday. And then after Friday night going into Saturday, in the morning time, we drop into the 30s. 39, 33, you know, and lots of sunshine, but really chilly. And it doesn't stop there. It continues for Monday going into Tuesday, Tuesday going to Wednesday. And then we climb right back up the steps going into next week, back to that mild spring like thing. So up, down, and all the way around, Maddie. Paul, thank you. And thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition's up next. We're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.